Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Sword 16 HX B14V. To open this device, you have to undo 13 Phillips head screws. When that is done, there should be a visible tiny gap in the front, and start prying the panel from there. Pop the sides until reaching the far end of the exhaust vents. Now, there should be a small gap between the plate and the base in the top two corners. Pry the rear by sliding the plastic tool carefully. Lift the panel on the right and slide it to the left where the audio jack is. This notebook has a 65 watt hour battery. If you want to remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the chassis. The capacity is enough for five hours and 18 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the silent preset and the display power saver function in the MSI center. Also, the MSI hybrid graphics mode has to be turned on and the balance mode should be selected in the BIOS in the user scenario section. The best power efficiency preset is also activated in the Windows power and battery menu. The adaptive sync plus option is turned on in the Intel graphics command center. The memory area is protected by a metal shroud, which has a rubber foot on top that makes contact with the bottom panel to enhance the internal structural support. You can lift the metal cap with a lever tool. According to MSI, the two SODIMs can handle up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The top NVMe slot is compatible with Gen 5 SSDs, while the lower one is for Gen 4 units. We can spot a big thermal pad for each M.2 slot, which is good. The cooling is called Cooler Boost 5, and it's impressively big. It comprises two fans and four long and thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. The fifth one is solely dedicated to the graphics card. The thermal system offers four heat sinks, a heat spreader for the processor, and one huge metal plate for the graphics card that also covers its memory and VRMs and makes contact with the chipset as well.